Hey there guys, it's Kim George here from YourChicGeek.com and I want to welcome you to a brand spanking new video. Now, this is a video that I probably should have done a little while back. I didn't even think about it, but I did have someone to come to my page and ask me about this. And uh, this is going to be in reference to a lottery campaigns. And so what I'm going to be doing in this video really quickly, guys, is just showing you how I set mine up. But before we dive in, I'd love for you guys to like, share, subscribe, comment, all of that good stuff. And then also for those of you that are looking for a list of, you know, some money making um, products that you can create to get you some extra coins. OK, <laughs> um, I'd love for you guys to take a look at the free swipe file that I have available. The link is going to be in the description and all of that good stuff. But let's go ahead and dive in. So. Um, one of the most popular videos that I've had um, that I get a lot of questions about and that I've seen some successes with has been the lottery ad campaign. So for those of you that are not familiar with what a lottery ad campaign is, it is essentially an automatic ad campaign where you take all of your books and you just dump them into one automatic campaign and you let that puppy run. Um, I had did a video, talked about it and how it helped me really start making some more sales, which is great, but I just never showed you guys how to set um, how to set one up so let's dive in all right so i'm back on the back end of my amazon ad my dashboard right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and select united states for the country and so what i want to say is that i run a lottery ads for three different marketplaces i run lottery ads for the united states i run lottery ads for um, i think the uk and then i also run lottery ads in canada those have been some of my best performing marketplaces. So I run lottery ads for all three of those marketplaces. Now for the United States, that's the one that we're going to talk about today. So what I'm going to do is select that and then I'm going to go over to where it says advertising console and it's asking me to log in. So I will go ahead and I will do that. I'm surprised it didn't let me in. Okay, here we go. Okay. So it's letting me log in. And so we're going to go into the back end of my ad account, which is doing not too bad. I'm at 28 percent. OK, not too bad. All right. So to create a, a lottery ad, all you do is this. Uh, what you want to do is you want to come down to where it says create campaign and then you want to click on create a campaign. So the campaign type that you want to create is going to be a sponsored products. And then you're going to go ahead and click continue at the bottom. All right. So um, the ad format that we're going to be using is just going to basically be the standard ad. And this is where you just, you know, add a name to kind of let you know what kind of ad campaign you're running. So the ad group name here that I usually do is I'll do something like lottery ad and then maybe you can do two or something like that. But I'll just do lottery ad one for the name and then underneath here where it says products. This is where all of the fun comes in. So you see here where it says add all items on this page. This is basically what you want to click. So you're going to click to add all of your books into a into your lottery ad campaign. Now, um, this says all of the books on this page. But what you need to do is you're going to have to go through where it says um, this little tab right here. You're going to basically have to click through and add all of the books on that specific page and so you just go through and you click on this until you get to the very end of your page now if there are books and i heard this and it made so much sense if there are books that you have in your catalog that have like um that don't have stellar reviews maybe they have two star reviews three star reviews things like that or one star reviews you definitely do not want to add those to your lottery campaign it just isn't going to make sense right since the books are lower you know they have low rankings if you have books in your catalog that have a low um, ratings or something like that, it's probably not a good idea to add those to your lottery ad campaign because it's just not going to be a good look. So for those books, if you do have them and they actually uh, pop up over here um, to the right where you're you know, trying to add them, I would definitely click on the little X to take those out so that you don't add those to your lottery ad. But everything else, that is within your catalog definitely go ahead and get those added so after you've added all of your books that you want to advertise into your lottery ad campaign what you're going to do is you're going to go down and you want to make sure that you have it set under targeting 
for automatic targeting. Again, this is where Amazon is going to find all of the keywords. It's going to do all of the magic for you. And that is what I absolutely love about the automatic ad campaign. Now, the next thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that you look at your default bid. Okay. Now, the default bid, as you can see right now, is really high. It's at 33 cents. This is too high. When I'm starting off my lottery ad campaigns, guys, I usually start off at like seven cents. So I'm going to go in here, I'm going to backspace this out, and I'm going to do zero. It's going to let me type. Okay, so we'll do seven, right? So that's seven cents. And then what you want to do is come on down. We're going to skip the negative keyword targeting for now. Um, and I'm going to have to do an optimization video to show you guys how to optimize your ads eventually because it is going to be key once you kind of start getting these kind of campaigns going, right? All right, so we're going to skip that for now because there's nothing to really add to the negative keyword targeting since this is a new, um, a new ad. And then we don't have anything for the negative product targeting. So we're going to skip that as well. And then we're going to come down to where it says the campaign bidding strategy. I'm going to select dynamic bids down only. I only, I always select this because um, with the other ones, I know that Amazon can like go up to as much as 100% more than what you're bidding and then less and all that kinds of stuff. And I kind of like for to just to be in control of, you know, how much I'm spending on my ads. So I always select dynamic bids down only. And then under settings, I'm going to just give it the same name. So the campaign name is going to be lottery ad one. And then the start and the end date, the start date is going to stay the same for today. And the end date you leave open. You don't put anything there. And then what I would say is, <clears throat> excuse me, if you have a small budget, which that's going to be perfect for a lottery ad campaign, you can just start off at like five bucks a day or you can even go as little as $3 a day. I usually start at five bucks a day. I never really spend that much. So I leave it at um, just a daily budget of $5, okay? And then you want to click to launch your campaign. And that is pretty much it, my friends. That is how you set up your lottery ad campaign. Now, as I've stated, there's some other things inside of your lottery ad or that you're in, inside of your automatic ads that you want to look at. Um, I'm going to have to do another video to kind of show you guys some things that you can look at to go in to do optimizations and things like that of your ads. Um, if things start to kind of spin out of control or if you have products that are, you know, not doing as well in a campaign, there's ways that you can go and take those out. You can pause them. There's different things that you can do. And then there's also different targeting options that you can pause and turn off as well inside of your automatic ad campaign. But I just wanted to give you guys a quick overview of how to do this. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this really quick video on how to set up a lottery ad campaign. This is how I go about doing it. Now, if you feel like you want to bid a little bit more, which I've heard people you know, actually say that they have done a little bit more, then you can definitely do that. So for example, if you wanted to start off at like maybe 11 cents and then scale back down, you can do that. But I usually just start at seven cents and then I go up from there if I need to become a little bit more aggressive. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Again, please be sure to like, share, subscribe, share this video for anyone that you think would be interested in seeing it. And I'll see you guys a little later with another video. Cheers, guys. Bye.